Oh, it is just another beautiful morning here at Springs Preserve, and it's Nature Photography Day. What do you know? We have Renee here. She's our photographer extraordinaire. Hey, do you mind if we follow you around here today? Not at all. I'd love the company. Great. Can you tell everyone a little bit more about what you do here at the Springs? I'm the guest services supervisor here at the Springs Preserve. What do you love about the preserve and working here? I love the people. I love the animals. I love working with conservation, sustainability themes, and just coming into this beautiful work environment every day. So if people have seen our social media, they have definitely seen your photos. How'd you get into <laughs> photography? I've worked in the photography business for quite a few years before I came to the Springs Preserve, so I just kind of brought those tools with me and uh, utilized them here, taking pictures of all the beautiful things, the nature, the animals, and the gardens. How would you describe your photography style? Uh, very much run and gun, guerrilla style photography. As I go through, I carry a couple different lenses so I can shoot a variety of subjects. Renee, are there any photographers you're especially inspired by? I love a lot of our local Las Vegas photographers. There's some really great photography groups here and some very talented individuals that shoot all around Las Vegas. So I'm really inspired by them on a daily basis. What equipment do you use? I keep pretty modest equipment. Uh, right now I'm using a Rebel uh, T6 Canon and um, a variety of lenses. So I try to keep it pretty simple. What is it about the Springs Preserve that makes it a good place for photography? There's just so much to see here. If you love architecture, if you love gardens, if you love plants, if you love nature, um, and even some of our exhibits, all really cool stuff that you can utilize your photography on. There's a lot of beautiful spaces around here. What's your standard routine for walking the gardens and trails, and what do you look for? Well, depending on what time of year it is, I want to get out before it gets too warm in the summertime. So, like right now, it's ideal to come out in the morning, shoot a little bit before it gets too hot. Uh, if I know there's going to be uh, some nice clouds, I might want to go out in the afternoon. So, I'm really kind of seeing what's in bloom, what's active, what animals I know are about, depending on what time of day it is. So, I kind of like make my schedule around that. Is there something you're seeing a lot of this season? Well, we just came off uh, Echinopsis season. Uh, here in the spring at the Springs Preserve, and it was pretty amazing. Uh, we had some huge colorful blooms. Uh, it was really, really beautiful. And then of course, some baby antelope squirrels. What are some of your favorite desert plants to photograph? Well, I really love Apache plumes. They have a really terrific texture. Um, bladder sage or paper bag bush, some really cool uh, flowers on that, as well as the Mojave Aster. You get that beautiful lavender color. What about your favorite native animals? There's a lot of native animals I like. Um, of course, I can't talk about antelope squirrels enough. Um, our gray foxes, uh, road runners, Cooper's hawks, finnipeplas, um, and of course our desert spiny lizards. So you gotta tell us what's cuter, baby antelope squirrels or baby gray fox kits? That's a really tough question. Um, when you see the gray fox kits, it's a little, uh, it does take your breath away. Uh, they're very beautiful. Um, they got such sweet little faces, but the antelope squirrels got the personality. So I tend to lean towards the baby antelope squirrels. Choose only one, tortoises or lizards? That's a really tough question. Lizards are just cool, but tortoises, they've got a wisdom. When you look in those faces and you look in those eyes, they know something. Favorite season at the preserve, is it spring or fall? Springtime, every time. Love those flowers. So I'm a spring girl. Renee, any special memories or interesting behind the scenes stories you've got about photographs? Uh, one of my favorite times uh, and memories that I have is when I first saw a gray fox, or I should say multiple gray fox. Um, I was out on the trails and I just had a feeling. I had not seen one yet, ever in my time I'd been at the Springs Preserve. And I just had a feeling I was gonna see one that morning. And sure enough, walking on the trails, I looked over the berm and I was shocked to see three foxes, young foxes, just sitting at the bottom of the berm, looking up at me, and I was speechless. I managed a couple shots, and then I heard a noise, and I looked to my left, and there was another fox about 15 feet away from me, looking at what I was looking at. Then she looked at me, allowed me to take a few pictures, and then kind of made her way down with the rest of the group. And, uh, it still gives me chills to this day. It was, it was pretty amazing. What's the one thing you wish you knew when you started taking photos? Uh, just how addictive photography can be. When you love something and you're uh, taking pictures of it, uh, you just want to share it with the world. And uh, 
it's just, uh, it's pretty cool. What makes a good photo stand out from an average photo? Lighting. I think if you have good light, you can make even a mundane subject look amazing if you have the right light. Uh, if you have something that's backlit that you can allow the color to go through to show the details of the subject or, you know, on the other spectrum, you know, if you have a real harsh light, that's going to really wash out your, uh, your photo and get rid of some of those details. So you always want to find really good light for your subject and whatever you're uh, photographing. Do you have any tips for photographers looking to shoot at the preserve or especially just people here with their phones? Absolutely. And that's one thing I really like to emphasize is that people will say, Renee, what kind of camera to use? What equipment do you use? And I'm telling you, sometimes I'll have my camera, my big lens, and I pull my phone out and I'll take a picture with my phone because maybe that lens isn't great for that subject. And I get some really great results with a phone. So um, don't be afraid to utilize what tools you have, uh, what kind of equipment you have. It's really the experience you're trying to capture. So it can be with your phone, it could be with whatever starting equipment you have, or if you're a pro, you know, uh, what you have to use, so you'll use that to the best of your ability and great some, get some great photos. So you're an awesome photographer and a painter and a superstar employee here at Springs Preserve, and you manage to keep most of your house plants alive. Is there anything you can't do or at least hope to accomplish? I think you never stop growing and you're always learning from the people around you, your experiences. So I just want to keep growing as a human being and as a photographer and just learn all there is. There's just so much out there. I'm willing to learn it all. How would you define yourself in three words? Determined, creative, and adventurous. How would you define the Springs Preserve in three words? Inspiring, beautiful, and unexpected. What do you want people to know about the preserve that they may not know or if they haven't visited before? Uh, our work in preservation and conservation. Our archaeologists, our biologists, they do a lot of really important work here um, with preserving our history, um, the Las Vegas bear poppy uh, colony that is here, uh, our work with the uh, relic leopard frogs and the prump pool fish has been wildly successful. So that stuff is super important and it makes me very proud to be uh, associated with that. Lastly, where can people see more of your work? Um, I'm always on our Instagram for Springs Preserve, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and then, of course, my own uh, site there on Instagram at Mojave Monkey 3000, Renee Grayson. Thanks, Renee, and happy Nature Photography Day, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.